All right, here now with reaction, former senior advisor to President Trump, Stephen Miller, Fox News contributor Tommy Lahren, and the author of the soon-to-be bestseller, Trial of the Century, Fox News legal analyst Greg Jarrett. Greg, yeah. oh, yeah. why don't I start with you? You can respond to Congressman Comer, also to the news at John Solomon tonight, which is big in my view. Yeah, if the accusation against Biden is true and there's evidence to support it, Sean, it constitutes the crime, as you point out, of bribery under federal law, as well as a separate felony under the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act, which makes it a crime to use your public office to confer a benefit on a foreign entity or government in exchange for something of value money. But beyond that, it rises to the level of impeachment. The Constitution specifically states the president can be removed for treason and bribery. So Representative Comer is right. Given all the other compelling evidence of Biden influence peddling schemes, it should surprise nobody that there may exist this smoking gun document hidden in the vaults of the FBI linking Joe Biden directly to a quote unquote criminal scheme involving the exchange of money for policy decisions. Hunter Biden's laptop is filled with similar uh, lucrative deals, selling access to his dad and promises of future influence. So you're right to ask the central question. Will Comer be able to get his hands on it or will the DOJ and FBI stonewall and obstruct? Well, given their shameful track record, they may refuse to cough it up, claiming, wow. oh, it's now up classified after the fact. That's a common trick to conceal damning records. So, Stephen Miller, we had the IRS whistleblower. Uh, immediately thereafter, you, you get all these rumblings, if you will, of an indictment of Hunter Biden. Is that a coincidence? Uh, now we have another whistleblower coming forward, and apparently now they're talking about Vice President Biden uh, and a foreign national and money changing hands, money for policy decisions. Uh, it seems like these whistleblowers are uh, doing a lot of good work for the country. Yes, well, I salute the whistleblowers who are standing up to expose this corruption and this wrongdoing that is threatening our national security. And I salute James Comer, whose doggedness and determination in pursuit of truth is nothing less than extraordinary. Let's be very clear, Sean. If Biden's Department of Justice refuses to provide James Comer with every single document he is seeking, and if there's any defiance of that subpoena, that Merrick Garland must be impeached. That's without question, because that is obstructing the will of Congress to get to the heart of the question of, is Joe Biden compromised by a foreign power? Is he putting the safety and lives of the American people at risk to pad the bank accounts of the Biden family? So if Garland does not cooperate and if the entire Biden administration stonewalls this, you begin by impeaching Merrick Garland. This is a fundamental matter of whether or not the highest office in this land is bought and paid for by a foreign power. We must get all the facts, Sean. Every detail must be known and must be made public. Uh, wow. Stephen Miller, powerful. Tommy, let me go to you, and I want your take on that, but also the important story. Tony Blinken, you know, set up this uh, intel operation, and now we have Mike Morrell uh, telling John Brennan, oh, we need to give Joe Biden a talking point to push back uh, on the Hunter Biden laptop story, and it turns out that none of them knew a thing, and they signed this document anyway. Uh, to me, that's election interference. Well, it is. And, Sean, I know you have a great studio audience there in New York City of not average but exceptional Americans. And how can they and all of us not feel completely punked by all of this? Completely punked. Punked. We've got our law enforcement and our intelligence agencies not working on behalf of the American people, but working on behalf of Democrats. We've seen it with Hillary Clinton, now with the Biden crime family. How does the average American not look at this and feel completely and totally screwed over by these agencies that's supposed to have our best interests and our national security at heart? And another thing that really concerns me when we're talking about the laptop and the payments to the Biden family, if this were maybe one payment, it would be bad 
bad enough, but everyone needs to realize this is not one payment. These are several payments spanning years. What did this family, what did potentially our president, then vice president, have to give up to keep getting these payments year after year after year in huge sums? That's what I really want to know, because the heart of our national security is at stake here, and every American should feel cheated and feel lied to. When does it end? Who's going to be arrested? Who's going to be impeached? I think the American people are so sick of this evidence piling up year after year and nothing happens. Tommy Lahren, Steve Miller, Greg Jarrett, all in your A-game tonight. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.